Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha and today I just want to share my heart with you. I, I was thinking back today um, about in my early 20s when I struggled with OCD and what brought that on and, and then what made it go away. I was thinking about some of the different people I've ministered to over the years with different physical diseases and they can always pinpoint and I could pinpoint uh, when that downward spiral started to take place that led uh, to my OCD or, or they could pinpoint it where it led to their sickness or disease. You know, and, and one thing, a story that stuck out to me was the man with stomach cancer. You know, I won't go through the whole thing. We've shared this story many times. Uh, but, uh, you know, he had an affair and, and then the the man found out and he committed suicide and that was a friend of his and, and and then the it just destroyed the family and what it did to the kids and uh you know he said that was the start of uh him developing cancer and so many stories i've heard that with parkinson's disease and different things the different traumatic events that took place you know, and, and for me with my OCD, uh, as a child, I was reading the Bible, Old Testament stuff and, and stories, you know, about going and killing men, women, and children, and, and uh, you know, the story of Joshua, and he said, go and kill the men, women, and children, and, and take the spoils, but don't touch the Lord's treasure, you know, and, and the man, of course, buried somebody under his tent, and, and then even the wording drove me crazy. My friends, it, Joshua told him, son tell me what you've done and he confessed and apologized he brought his family out before him and killed them and then killed him and said don't touch the lord's treasure and just these stories they haunted me and of course abraham and isaac is apparently god told him to sacrifice isaac and just the blood and destruction and hell and um, and, and and then you're not allowed to question it you're not allowed to think that can't be good that can't be god that that's bad because that's blasphemy and then you're going to go to hell and, and my friends that was my trigger my uh, for my OCD was blaspheming the Holy Spirit you know and so whenever a, a, an intrusive thought would even come in it I it would shut me down sometimes for days I couldn't get out of bed and and then something beautiful happened my friends I found the message of Zarathustra is the message of Jesus you know they twisted the message of Jesus I, you know I say this all the time but you know Jesus wouldn't be a Christian if he was alive today. And my friends, Asha is the Holy Spirit of God. <laughs> is that beautiful? Asha, my book, my best friend, my life, it is the thing that they had me scared that I could be separated from. Oh my God, my friends, you can't be separated from yourself. You are the perfect creator's perfect idea. You are God vibrating in form. You come from good spirit. You're made of good spirit. You'll return to good spirit. The message of Zarathustra of the Magi is so beautiful. You had a choice to come here. You're God energy, my friends, and he gave you a choice. Do you want to come to time, space, and to defeat the evil spirit? He said you have a role to play. You can't be separated, but you're going to go through trials and tribulation. You're going to be born into a body that has genes and DNA that have sin built into it, from passed down from grandparents and parents, anger issues, violence, addictions, lust, but you can overcome it. But take heart, nothing can separate you from me. My friends, that's not what the world matrix religions teach you and that's how they keep control of you my friends asha is my life my best friend my love i spend every day sharing the holy spirit with you and not out of fear but because it set me free the truth the truth dispels its opposite the lie and illusion just like health dispels sickness and disease just like light dispels darkness asha dispels the lie my friends because it's the real above all real it's the perfect creator's perfect idea and it's heaven on earth my god i was sitting out this morning in my chair just looking at the mountain smelling that fresh mountain morning air listening to the birds sing and i was thinking my god i live in asha and the matrix religions tried to make me scared of asha <laughs> my friends oh do you know how lucky we are to have this message it is so beautiful and if you find yourself it may be mentally ill ill in your body go back to that time 
that event that changed the chemicals, rewired your brain. We now know that we can rewire our brains for healing. The same thing that destroyed your body, you can rewire it and heal your body. How? With truth. Remove the lying illusion. Remove the guilt and shame. Maybe, maybe you've done something that you, you feel bad about. Forgive yourself, my friends. You knew when you came to time space, you're going to be born in a body that had air built into it, but you can overcome, my friends. Maybe you have sickness and disease in your body, my friends. I'm going to ask you to start reaching for the highest truth. Start forgiving yourself, forgiving others, walking in higher vibrations of love and peace and joy and kindness. Remove yourself from the lie, the negativity, negative people. You know, I've heard a lot of people that have cancer. Part of their healing process is watching comedies on TV. Don't watch negative dramas that bring your vibration down. They Watch things that make you smile, make you laugh, make you happy. Because when you feel good, you're feeling God. And when you're in God, there's no evil spirit. It's first circle magic of the magi, my friends. When you're in light, there's no darkness. When you're feeling good, there's no feeling bad. When you're in health, in peace, in joy, in good, hold yourself in those high vibrations. And then, my friends, we start to change the world together. That's our mission here. To bring people truth. There's so many people tortured in their minds and bodies, brought on, and it's not their fault, my friends. Someone took them as a little child and took them to a Sunday school to learn lies. It doesn't matter where you're born, if, if it's Islam or Christianity or Judaism, my friends. They've distorted the idea of who God is, and Zoroastrianism, Zoroastrianism is the original monotheistic religion, and it's been distorted. Zoroastrianism teaches that God is all good and He has no attributes of the evil spirit. He can't tell you to go in and kill men, women, and children. He, he can't destroy. He can't hate. He can't get jealous. He has none of those attributes. My friends, why in the world did the religions that followed add those attributes to God? I'll tell you why. Because it keeps you bound right there. You can never rise above your highest idea of God good. Your highest principle, you will never rise above so we restore his image to, to the highest principle of good, my friends. All love, peace, joy, kindness. He doesn't get rattled when someone says something negative towards him. He doesn't get rattled if someone's doing error or sin. He just always shines his light. Love, life, peace, joy, kindness. He doesn't go into war and kill. He doesn't have to take on attributes of the evil spirit to fight the evil spirit, right? You don't fight evil with evil. It's common sense, my friends. Otherwise, you just got a bunch of evil. It's stupid. And we know that. But people are too scared to question it. Uh, and it's designed that way, isn't it? All the stories that we've read as a small child keep us bound in fear. And my friends, you know what I found? There's nothing to fear. Asha, my best friend, the Holy Spirit of God, is good. And He loves you. And He is you. You come from Asha. You're made of Asha. You'll return to Asha. Heaven on earth. The perfect creator's perfect idea. So beautiful. Guys, are you sharing these messages? I know you guys must be. I say this every time. Every day I check. And two books sold yesterday. And this has been going on for four years, my friends. Every day these books are going out around the world. People need this message. People are so hungry for this message. People are scared of this message and they need your guidance and love to help them to receive this message because it's already written in their hearts. And when we say it, my friends, sometimes they'll actually get mad at me because it resonates with what's in their heart, you know, and it scares them because they're already thinking these things. And I've had people yell at me and cuss me out before they accept the message, my friends, and it's because of fear, man. It's like OCD on a global scale, but we're changing it one heart and soul and mind at a time. So guys, don't give up. Keep sharing it because it makes a difference. You can't believe all the messages I get all the time of how grateful they are for the message of Asha. And guys, I am grateful for you. You guys help keep me going with your love and your comments. And what a blessing each and every one of you 
are to me. All right, guys, I love you so much. Keep sharing, Asha. And no, I love, love, love you. We'll see you next time.